Mitch, how much has these um, these past two years in the, in the program with Sam and with Michael prepared you for this situation? Um, you know, Sam's been a huge mentor for me, um, not just playing quarterback, but like, you know, in life as well. He's been a, we have a big, big brother program here at Wake and um, he was my big brother when I first came in and he's been a, a phenomenal mentor for me. And, um, you know, I can't thank him enough. Um, and, you know, Coach R and Coach Clawson, you know, we have a good system here at Wake Forest and, you know, they always talk about don't play outside the system, just do your job. And I think, uh, you know, just countless meetings with Coach R and just him teaching us, you know, what he expects from us and going over our, uh, our rules and stuff. And I think that's really helped me for this moment um, that I am in now. Just me today or did you kind of settle into a groove about halfway through practice? Um, I think I did settle in a little bit. Yesterday, you know, I was kind of still like shell shocked, you know, feeling bad for Sam and, you know, we still, you know, weren't sure what was going on. And, uh, you know, we got some better news as, as practice went on, as you guys all found out that he'd be okay. So, you know, it was kind of just like a really, um, crazy 16 hours just you know finding out about Sam and just making sure that he was okay and then you know realizing like oh wow okay you know it's you know game one's up here coming here soon so it was just kind of like settling in and then today I kind of feel like I settled a little bit more and kind of kind of really came to reality for me so. Was the interception in that zone by Isaiah the kind of the moment that snapped you in? The um, you know it was, it was a good play by him you know I, I mean I was, I was focused the whole practice but he uh, he made a good play and um, you know when, when you're running with uh, the ones, you know, the holes are going to get uh, tighter and the guys are going to get faster. So it's just, you know, it's a good it, play by Zay. Is it somewhat of a bittersweet moment for you? I mean, obviously you came to Wake Forest planning and hoping to be the top quarterback mm -hmm. on the depth chart and, and start games. Uh, but you're doing it now because, you know, your your, your brother's injured. Your yeah, brother's yeah. Going through, is that a bittersweet moment for you? Uh, you know, it is. You know, you always, you know, everybody wants to, you know, be the starting quarterback when they play quarterback. But, you know, this is definitely not how I wanted it to happen, you know, especially um, with how much I respect and love Sam. Um, and this is his team. This will be his team this year. And, you know, my job and my goal is to, when he's ready, give him the keys back, um, ready to play in Charlotte, you know. So whenever, whenever he comes back, I want to give him back a team, you know, just do my job and help the team be ready to, to play in Charlotte. So uh, that's our end goal. Um, and, you know, I... Uh, that's really my goal is just to give the team back to Sam and for him to do his thing. Coach Ruggiero told me on Monday that 120% of the offense has already been installed. Yeah. And that he pared down a little bit after the next you know, scrimmage mm -hmm. and it would be down to 100%. Does that offense, does the playbook shrink at all with Mitch Griffiths leading it as opposed to Sam Hartman? Uh, no, sir. I, I don't think so. I think, you know, Coach does a great job of teaching all of us quarterbacks, you know, our, our rules and our job. and. Uh, you know, I think you know, we're going to run the same plays we'd ran if Sam was there. And, um, you know, we're just following the system, follow our rules, and don't play outside the, outside the system. And I think uh, all of us quarterbacks are capable of doing that. So I think, uh, you know, we'll call the same plays you would if Sam was still here. What kind of feedback do you get from your brother during all this? Uh, I, I do appreciate his feedback because he's like, you know, he gets to stand behind when I'm, when I'm going, and I get to stand behind when he's going. So it's helpful, and I trust him, you know. Um, he's my best friend, so it's been, it's been a nice uh, – you know, a little, hey, hey, did I miss anybody there? You know, how'd I do there? So it's, it's been nice uh, having him back there. You were already getting a lot of snaps in camp. I mean, even more so than a typical number two, almost like a number one A, if you will. Does your mental approach change today, knowing now going forward for the next indefinite period of time that you were the guy? Uh, no, sir. Um, I, you know, I've always prepared like I was, you know, one day going to be the starter. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, Sam set a good example of that. Um, and I feel like I've worked the hardest I can. I can honestly say I don't think I could put in any more work this off season or last off season, the off season before. Um, you know, because I knew there could be a time like this where Sam were to go down and I'd have to uh, have to do my job. So I've uh, I've always prepared like I was going to be the starter. And you know, unfortunately that that situation has happened that Sam's gone down. But uh, you know, I've been I've been working for it, so I'm excited. When you talk to your family, what do they think about what turning on a Wake Forest game and seeing you as the starting quarterback? Uh, I did, I did, I waited till everything came out public because we weren't supposed to say anything. So I waited till they came out public. My parents were like, you know, what's going on? So I, I called my parents after practice yesterday and I told them what the situation and uh, my grandparents were upset because I didn't tell them, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my information to share. So, um, you know, they're excited. They come to every game. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to having them be able to watch me play. I think they're probably a little bit more excited to come to the game now, knowing you're the starter. Uh, my mom, no. I don't know if my mom is going to come. I think she'll be a little bit nervous. So I think she, I think she's more nervous knowing that I'll be out there. So um, I don't know. I, we'll see what happens there with my parents. Yeah. Sam, uh, giving you any words of advice just for this this new position? 
Uh, you know, he did, he did say something to me that meant a lot to me. He said, um, you know, trust the coaches, trust the system, trust your teammates, most importantly, trust yourself. Um, and that really meant a lot to me um, because, you know, in, in a situation like this, it's, uh, it's just crazy times, you know, so you really got to have faith in, uh, have faith in yourself, believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. So it meant a lot did, to me. When did he tell you that? Uh, we talked um, uh, yesterday a little bit. He was, because he was at practice, you know, we, we saw him at practice. So he, uh, that's what he told me and I, uh, you know, I appreciate that. That meant a lot to me. Was that during one of the coach arm meetings with you guys during like the special teams period? No, it was when he was just out here at practice in the morning. He just, I, oh, my fault. He, uh, he was just sitting outside. I hadn't seen him, so I was like catching up with him, make sure he's all right. And then he just told me that. So it was, uh, yeah, it meant a lot to me. Was the mood of those meetings different today without Sam there to kind of? Um, it is weird because like I, the mood's not different. It's just like, as long as I've been here, Sam's been, you know, sits right next to me. So like just having that seat empty, um, you know, three years, this is my, going to my third season, it's been, uh, it's just weird having an empty seat. He went to like the, the Manning camp like three weeks ago and the seat was empty and it was just like, whoa. You know, it was just, it was just weird, you know. Um, so the mood's not different, it's just, it's just, you definitely miss him out there in the meeting room. I noticed after you guys were running plays and you came back and give each other fist bumps and words of encouragement, talk a little bit about, you know, why that relationship's so important. I mean, it's somebody you're in competition with, but you both have each other's back and you're there for each other. Uh, what are you saying with the defense? Uh, you and the other, other quarterback. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, I mean, Look, this is, uh, this is a crazy time for me and Kern, and you know, we're going to need both of each other's support and help. So at the end of the day, we both want what's best for the team. And um, if that's me, great. If that's him, great. You know, whatever, whatever helps our team um, win and be successful, we're going to support each other. So, you know, we, you know Kern, me and Kern are good friends. You know, it's, you know, we compete on the football field, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're good friends, and that, that's what matters the most. So.